12. Ah! Today I am all about making you uncomfortable, which is why we're starting on this screen, and I am going to show you the strongest way to play Amerika. And very important, we need to enable historical AI focuses again. We are going to go with the new deal, as always. Research, basic stuff, basic machine tools, construction, engineering, and then you can just... RT I guess. And as always, just build wherever you have resources. Roads are good. Roads are strong. When are the elections? November. You know what? I'm gonna play a little bit cheeky then. I'm gonna build a few sieves since this is the strongest way to play the US. Ah, let's build three. The roads won't be as useful without the, like, with Roosevelt we get the 15% road infrastructure buff. And then let's just guns, I guess. Convoys. Don't care about this plane army uh we might as well shoot them air force stack it up navy stack it up as well five speed let's go now we split those boys we tell them automatic split off and boop naval exercises garrisons oh that's not a good garrison division we need to fix that later we can train them indefinitely and for your crash into the ground normal operations please very important else these planes will just fly until they legitimately crash into the ground i don't know why paradox does this but paradox does now with the new deal we do have pp that we can spend and we will have to spend them to make roosevelt happy next we're gonna go for the wpa and and we will just bank a little bit of PP right now. Our Navy XP is already going up, so we can just get the naval reform. Keep on going down. Engineering. Just keep on clicking, keep on lobbying. Dispersed. Actually, there are not a lot of countries that concentrate and make sense for. The US is one of them. But I also don't really like it. <laughs> no, I, I, ju I just don't like I just don't like concentrated. There we go. We can get the first agricultural act. Ex expansion adjustment agricultural adjustment i don't really care about the navy so let's just build cruisers i guess a bunch of them but not too many since then the uk will come slap me not come although don't threaten me with a good time we have suspended the persecution and now things are getting interesting because we are going to hire Earl Browder, which is a communist guy. And I also want the Neutrality Act, which has two things that we worry about. We are not allowed to have communist revolutionary, which we have right now, Earl Browder. And we need to have at least 95% support for the Democratic Party. We will get the Union Representation Act, which will lead us closer to a civil war, which is very bad, but we can just lobby. And more importantly, we can just ban communism. Since none of these care about how much communist support we have, all of this stuff only cares about the fact that we have a communist revolutionary. And now, if we just hired Browder normally, we could, of course, later just anti-communist raids, ban communism and such, but that would give us such a huge stability hit that if we go down ban communism now, even though we have a communist revolutionary, which I don't know how that works, we'll reduce our communist gain by half and then later if we fire him communism will just go down to zero since ban communism can still work if we have 100% communism support thank you paradox <laughs> i mean hey hey i'm here to break the game and paradox is making it easier for me to break the game which makes me very happy pattern seven attack oh maurice yo the us has a few cool generals never really paid attention to that we are of course going for the democrats for more years because the new deal is just 20 percent infrastructure always just go for those the factories are not nice to have and it's just free lobbying the civil legion will protest so just take the stab head, honestly. Accumulate wealth tax. There we go. Wealth tax. And now, if you take a look, we don't really need our communist revolutionary anymore. So, goodbye, Browder. You served us well. And now we just wait a little bit. I think it's like a month. There we go. Yep. It was not an, an entire focus. We do lose a little bit of uh, day progress. But hey, it's so worth it to just remove the entire Great Depression. We do have... 10% communist support right now, but it's slowly going to tick down. I suppose something I wanted to mention earlier. This is also where we can split. You can either go continue going down into the communist half to just play as a communist US and then 
have an easy world conquest or you can do this which is a little bit of a super powered historical us and usually with these strongest strats i like to play as one of the more active parties just so you can world conquest and then you know like it's more fun but for the us we are just going to stay democratic for now because i just like the us is in a weird spot where this is legitimately so busted you're so strong early on but as a downside you can't world conquest since as soon as we go down neutrality act which i really want because just look at this arsenal of democracy six factories six dockyards giant wakes and then wartime industry you obviously lose out on old browder since as soon as we have started neutrality act he's gone which is a bit sad but it's a price i'm willing to pay Okay, let's get Taft now, increase our PP gain. Once again, I am going to wait just a little bit to get the communist support ticking down. We can of course go down these paths, you know, there's a lot of fun stuff. But I do want to get Arsenal of Democracy and most importantly, the Giant Wakes. But for that, we need less than 5% improved workers uh, let's start with Alaska and let's also do Hawaii. Okay, uh, we are already done with our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one thing we can also do we can just build a few more sith factories we do have 150 which is fine but we can also just get ah you know what i'm gonna build a few more sith factories something like this yeah let's get eisenhower and then i also really like arnold and thanks to germany we just got 20 percent war support thanks to the world tension that they just created with the american dream we will get 30% war support and if we take a look at the giant wakes we do need 30% war support it's just such a nice focus stream man develop a little bit of aluminium the american dream has been guaranteed now we have 30% war support we can get giant wakes in mid 1938 before germany has even done the sudetenland we already have 200 factories just rolling around 70 factories <laughs> We just got 50 factories. Okay, we need to sink a few ships again. Even though in a year we will be all fighting on the same side. But hey, we must avoid war at any cost. I know we will have a war. That's why I'm playing this game, UK. Sixth research slot. Most of the things that we do want, we already have now. We can, of course, go for some ocean navy and well the fighters here are also cool like these are nice to have this stuff is important you can also get these two not that high on my priority list you know what i do feel like playing with tanks today for once i'm gonna build these infantry divisions not my super powered ones i can just reshuffle things a little bit and then just clap germany in 1940 but i also just want to have fun today you know toy around with my food a little bit so i'm not going to do that i will just fuck around here a little bit limited conscription so we get more manpower even though we're still on disarmed nation disarmed nation as the us that sounds like some cursed nightmare imagine not being able to go to walmart and buying an ar what kind of communism is this when it comes to mexicans you can technically get the puppet war goal but i'm just gonna say yeah no i don't care because honestly i don't care yeah let's just make nukes i guess i don't have anything better to do with my research slot right now from now on we can just keep on dumping our pp and factories into these things because you can see we are starting to bleed in terms of our required requirements resources uh we are getting into problematic territory tbh tbh 700 soft attack Ooh, those boys are going to deal damage and they cost 140 to create oh i gotta make use of them oh god i forgot <laughs> we need to create trucks for motorized ah trucks are a thing in this game fuck wait if i join the war i can let me join the war that means i can go down to total mob Fuck, I forgot I wanted <laughs> I wanted total mob. My brain is just like a, what? 70 consumer goods? Actually it wasn't 70. <laughs> it was a funny number. <laughs> Nine eight consumer goods. Uh we are legitimately running out of building slots now. And then let's go for export focus. Just so we get all of our steel back. <laughs> As for the resources, I'm just gonna continue dumping things into it since eh? What am I gonna do with my industry? But I just got still well. Yeah, sure. Take him. He's not really that great anyway, in terms of stats. <laughs> just look at all the Americans in Britain. There we go, we're going, we're going, we're going. I don't think I have fighters yet. Wait, why, why is the division here? As for this front, where's my navy? Convoy raiding. I want to dump my tanks in here, which is very stupid, but hey, I think at this point this idiot has proven that he's stupid. Fuck's sake, he played communist hungry out of his own free will. Oh, they are just gonna starve for supply. 
I already know it. Yeah, well, let's just look at that. They don't have supply, but it doesn't really matter. We got 600 soft attack. <laughs> They're just... <laughs> it's incredible. The gems are just butter. God, I should play more often with tanks. Let's just look at this. <laughs> Now I need to wait a little bit with our tanks here, since we might get encircled. This is insane! Like, I just click somewhere and it works. I guess the supply is beating me here. Yeah, let's just get Wilhelmshaven. Oh, boys! You don't look so good. Can I enschmirkle them? Damn. We fucking go. And Schmirkled and you don't even have a port. Go home, Japan. Go home and draw some comics. I like those comics. I could just kill Germany here now. But I think I'm gonna first go for France. Free France. Here könnte ihr Gewerbung stehen. Oh, let's take a look. Ah, we almost freed France. I mean Vichy France. As for the tanks, I want all of you here. Because the tanks, they can push through the Alps. Don't try this at home, kids. We almost killed 1 million Germans and lost 50k to them. Yep, now we are getting into the mountains and the Italians have arrived here, so... We can't push with our tanks for now. Instead... Why is there no port here? I mean, you can still attack from here, I guess. No! The stupid bug. Just look at how many boats Japan has in this strait. And now I can't move here. I hate this bug. Why are there German convoys here? I feel like Germany has other issues to worry about right now. When you attack Italy, there's two things you can do. You can either just kill Italy, or in this special case, we are just going to cut off all of these troops. Just slowly push up. Slowly, very slowly. There we go, I think that's the first time I've ever defended the Philippines. I just never bother with it. It just is not worth it. Mm. You can try and take Milano. I'm just gonna shuffle. At some point, one of these two tiles will break. All of these boys are encircled now. They still have ports here, which is a bummer. But ports can be taken. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't do this. Uh, let's just take it directly. Yeah, there's just too many Germans coming in here. But maybe we can encircle. Yes, we encircled it. Okay, they are attacking. Despair, despair. Okay, final port. There we go. You are all encircled and starving now. Congratulations. Torino would be nice. There's a supply up there. There's an ideology map mode? This is a nice little juicy pocket. Tanks, roll out. Nine attack on Patton. Oof, just look at Italy. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. Wait, why does France have this? Why do you own this? Give this back. There we go, we got it. All of the stupid Italy are belong to me. And you just got free. Oh, I don't want to bother with this front line. It would also be cool to just free the Balkans and then get all the war score. The Soviets have 35% war participation score. Why? I guess they killed a lot of Germans by dying. Wait, Japan? What are you doing? Where are your boats? Oh, look at the Soviets pushing suddenly. Just because the Axis has something else to worry about. But Romania should flip to the commies as well. Let's take Hungary out next. And of course, Slovakia, the most important piece. I love how they didn't even put troops here. Because they know that defending here is just awful. We can technically recapture more stuff. More non-core territory, just so we get more war score. But I also don't really... Yeah, let's just end this. What's happened to you boys? Why are you up here? I'm... What? You should be down here for the invasion. Yes, we can finally win the war. Liberia joined us. Wow, the, the Soviets actually have more war score than me. That part disagree. They didn't do jack shit in this war. They just got pushed back. Whereas I freed France, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Euro, Albania, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia, Poland. I fucking hate the UK. Why do you release random... <laughs> This is just gonna slow down my PC. I guess that's relatively fair for the war score that they got. Soviet Norway? As for this war, just a few things I can do here. I think I'm just gonna go straight for the heart. In the meantime, I do have some plans I want to execute on. And it's simple. Somebody generated will tension. And they are supporting regimes that we do not support. Like Ethiopia after being invaded. Okay, that's a new supply map mode. I've seen the map mode with general supply, but just free railroad connections? That is new. Mecklenburg, part of my Germany. I can't just have half a Germany. Although I do like having multiple Germanys just from the experience of the Reich. That's a lot of convoys that are sunk. Can you please just move there? I want to navally invade Japan, but nobody is moving. Come on, go in there. Yes. 
they're all encircled again. Airdrop, this mother fuck that was 500k. Thank a lot, the winners can't be tried for war crimes. Where are you going? Huh? Oh cool, we got here. Um what now? Come on, breakthrough there. You can do it. But hey, if they wanna keep on pressing desperate defense last stand, I guess I'll take it. Hey, six percent. That's a lot against Japan. Uh what are you doing? The cool thing is they can't kill me. <laughs> Even if the Soviets just take all of Germany, I can just walk into France. Hirohito. You can't just keep on pressing last stand. There's nothing in these divisions left. <laughs> oh, look at that, another pocket. Oh, yeah, that's why I like to invade Japan. It's just... Like at some point they just glitch out. Which is why you usually just do area defense, depending on how many troops Japan has in here. Oh, Japan is gone. Well, actually, that's interesting. Yes, those pieces. State of Japan. State of Japan is pretty bad. Railroad there, please. I wanna take the Soviets from behind. What the fuck is the AI doing? What in the... Is that Morse code? Can somebody please decipher what they are trying to tell me? Pattern. It's time to wreak a little bit of chaos. Uh, Germany, I think I am the anti commentator pact. There's nobody else here. Fine, I'll join it. What are the Soviets gonna do? Declare war on me? <laughs> this division did not know what hit it. This is gonna be a little bit funky because I don't have divisions here. They're all still holed up in Czechoslovakia on the Sudetenland front. But I'm gonna see... I should be able to do some sneaky stuff with this tank alone. If it ever gets to move. <laughs> we are overrunning them. I just wanna cap Czechoslovakia. I don't even wanna do much here, you know? No! Fuck you, Turkey. I just wanted to have a nice war, you know? A relaxing war where I just take all of the Soviets. Let's just start every offensive, every single one we have. Oh, that's topical. Why does Germany have so much war score? Just from occupying Czechoslovakia? What is this? Make oh, makeshift bridges. What do you use makeshift bridges for? I mean, I know what <laughs> I know what a bridge is and what a makeshift running, bridge you know? is, but why did they use it here? They surely didn't want to attack my tank over a river. Even for the AI, that seems stupid when you're losing the war. Three thousand points. I cannot annex the Soviets, but I can do. And then I precisely did that. I wanted this game to be a little bit longer. Longer, where I then go down to the end monarchism focus and then I get a war goal against the UK and thus I can annex all of the allies but you need communist support. Bit of a shame. I would have liked to take out the UK and France. That is the strongest US. We have 740 factories. We own all of the Soviet Union. We own all of almost all of Germany. Wait what are you building there Germany? Wait what? Huh? There's no requirement that communist China exists. They are just not allowed to be a faction leader or be at war with me. Uh... Uh... You might have realized that there's no stupid skit that only I find funny in this episode and there's a reason for that. I also wrote an entire fucking script for this, but at the end of the day I think, um... What I'd like to do is just appeal to you to reach out to some of your friends. Mm -hmm.